strange, isn't it? From childhood, we have been told that the universe is endless. It was said that there are millions of worlds out there, and that none of them can be reached. Today we're looking at Undungeon, which is a action role-playing game by Laughing Machine that uh, just came out on Steam and Xbox. It's actually on Xbox Game Pass. If you're interested in it, you can check it out there. And this is a uh, kind of hack-and-slash action game that's primarily the combat. And the combat is... Right out of the gate, I'm just going to say that the combat... For me, it's probably right now the weakest point, mostly because it's um, it's getting a little a little repetitive, um, and the enemies so far haven't really been that varied. But I'm still a little bit early, so I'm hoping that ends up uh, you know improving over time. What is really cool about this game is the world building and the um, depth of the lore and the way that they are um, unfolding all of the little nooks and crannies of the uh, the game's kind of complex universe that it takes place in. You're this uh, herald, this void herald that is tasked with um, connecting, uh, repairing these piers that connect the multi- universe multiverse together like it's these it's just these different dimensions and the peers allow you to travel between them and um it kind of dumps this lore on you like right at the beginning and seems kind of overwhelming at first but the more i've played it the more i've uh really started to dig all the little nuances of the story um you're going to come across a lot of npcs out in the world you're going to who are who are going to give you more context to the story. Uh, you have like a, a weird eye, uh, yellow eyeball guy that's helping you out to, um, you know, kind of guide you along the way, and he fills you in on some of the lore and the story, and it keeps introducing some pretty cool characters. They all have great personality and stuff like that. So in terms of like story-based RPG, it's definitely got that down pat. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, the way it's presented anyway, like the old Fallout games or uh, most recently the Wasteland games where you have this kind of map that you're walking around and you can't really do anything on that map except enter little regions. And these regions are like little um, little unique areas where you, where you fight enemies and you, you know, find treasure chests. Uh, there could be other kinds of secrets there. You could find NPCs to rescue. Um, that's, that's what, uh, I found early on in the game. And, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's really doing it for me. It's kind of, um, it's always been interesting to see what's out there and, and it, it is a little dialogue heavy, uh, there's no voice acting in it, so it's a lot of reading. So uh, I don't know, maybe that'll turn you off. But there is a lot, and with the character interactions, there's a lot of dialogue reading. And like I said, that kind of gives you the flavor of the world and stuff like that. So um, if, you, if you're into that, uh, there's, there's a lot of that too. The, the game looks great too. Like the, the art style is, is phenomenal. Like colorful, bright, vibrant, um, all sorts of weird gooey colors for like this void realm and then like the first area that i was in anyway was like a desert that that looked really cool sparse but also like scraggly plants here and there and yeah it, it just it has a really good visual style to it so um uh that's definitely a, a mark in its favor uh as far as the rpg side of it goes this is an rpg ass rpg you are gaining xp and you're leveling up and when you level up, you can upgrade uh, what's called your core. And that allows you to open up these slots that you can slot in runes that do things like uh, boost your armor, boost your stamina, boost your attack power. And you can just kind of swap them in and out as you get new ones. And you get quite a few new ones um, along the way. It seems like it's pretty generous with the loot drops in that respect. I was getting, you know, new weapons, new like secondary weapons, you have like bombs and throwing knives and stuff like that. And these runes that, you know, give you boosts. And 
Seems like there's organs you can also upgrade in inside your body. I don't really know what that's going to lead to, but because uh, right right at the the moment where I am right now, I haven't really gotten into that yet, and it hasn't really explained anything about that. But it's there in the menu, so I know something's gonna happen uh, later on. And yeah, it just it's it's doing a good job of keeping the pace pretty high. You know, it's 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 not like um, too much dialogue it's not too much exploration without finding something cool the combat is snappy and responsive which is good and yeah i'm just i'm real what i'm really digging is the story because uh like i said it it kicks off and it's kind of a lot but then as you start to get into it a little bit more it becomes um a little bit more clear on you know how how this world is all coming together and that's what i'm most interested in and i think i think the game has enough going for it that it's going to pull me through to to see what um what it all has in store so yeah that's a undungeon it's out now um and yeah it's a neat little rpg that i think um you should check out if uh that's something that you may be interested in